press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello students, <coughs> in the last class we discussed two rules, one is constant into function, another one is sum or difference of two or more functions, sum or difference of two or more functions. I think today it is a very important rule, one more rule we discuss, I think rule third, product, product of two functions not more just first we discuss only only two functions product of understand product of two functions that is y is equal to f of x into g of x so this one i call it as first function and this one I call it as second function, first function, second function, product of two functions, f of x is the first function, g of x is the second function. How to differentiate if product of two functions are given, observe carefully, this is a very important, see, differentiate with respect to x differentiate with respect to x. So, y with respect to x, we are done, you already know dy by dx, correct? y with respect to x means dy by dx. See, observe here, this is very important, write the first function as it is. First function is what? f of x, write the first function as it is, f of x into into f of x into derivative of second function d by dx of g of x. What we do first? Write the first function as it is. Got my point? First function as it is into differentiate that means derivative of second function. This is very important derivative of second function then write the sign plus write the sign plus then write the second function as it is write the second function as it is into into derivative of derivative of first function write the second function, observe what, write the second function as it is into derivative of first function, this is the rule, once again I explained, if the product of two functions are given, observe here, if the product of two functions are given, this is first function, this is second function, observe carefully, first function second function. So, y with respect to x no doubt dy by dx. So, write the first function as it is, write the what the first function as it is into derivative of second function, derivative of second function plus write the second function as it is into derivative of first function. I write in the word better, then only you are proper. dy by dx. First function, first function, first function, write as it is, into derivative of second function. Observe here, first function, first function into derivative of second function plus, write plus, write below, second function, second function into derivative of 
first function derivative of derivative of what first function first function into derivative of second function plus second function into derivative of first function this is what the rule for for what product of two functions product of got my point product of what two function observe the carefully once again i explained first function into derivative of second function plus second function into derivative of first function i think uh, when we cleared we solved some practice problems then only you perfect firstly what we do to understand the concept very well better we solve some simple simple practice oriented problems after that we go for test score problems okay so uh, practice problem first suppose he has given y is equal to x cube into cos x y is equal to x cube into cos x simply y is equal to what x cube into cos x see observe here x cube is the first function cos x is the second one no need to write like that okay is not a rule no need to write for understanding i write x cube is the first function cos x is the second function so what we are doing here we have to differentiate with respect to x because x and y is depending upon the x with respect to x then everyone has no y with respect to x means dy by dx which rule have played here product rule why it is product he has given product of two functions product of two function what do we do write the first function as it is write the first function as it is x cube into d by dx of derivative of second function that is cos x x cube x cube got my point x cube into derivative of cos x plus plus cos x second function cos x into derivative of d by dx of x cube better to practice write this don't write directly after knowing the concept very well write directly answer no problem okay first function into observe carefully first function into derivative of second function plus second function into derivative of first function got my point first function into what derivative of second function plus second function into derivative of first function so dy by dx x cube x cube derivative of cos x everyone know minus sin x derivative of cos x is minus sin x plus cos x derivative of x cube x to the power n for derivative of x to the power n n into x to the power n minus 1 so 3 into x to the power a minus 1 over simplified it minus x cube sin x minus x cube sin x cos x 3 x square 3 x square if you stop here no problem or else if you continue no problem take x square comma write first positive sign 3 cos x minus i take x common that's why x into sin x observe this problem 
carefully. Observe the problem first. Clearly, each steps observe carefully. What I do? What I explain? Same thing I write. X cube is the first function. Once again, I explained. X cube is the first function. Cos x is the second function. Got my point? X cube is the first function. Cos x is the second function. First step. First function into means x cube right as it is. Okay, observe here x cube right as it is. Derivative of second function. The second function is cos x. Second function is cos x plus second function cos x right as it is. Second function cos x right as it is. Derivative of first function. Derivative of x cube. This is the product rule. This is very important. You practice like this. You, you better you practice like this. First function into derivative of second function plus second function into derivative of first function. X cube. Derivative of cos x. That's why what I write the table for first PUC, for second PUC. Better to perfect both the table. So it is very easy for both first PUC and second PUC. Even though physics also it is very easy. You already know these are all concepts in physics. X cube into derivative of cos x is minus sin x plus cos x into derivative of x cube 3 x to the power 3 minus 1. Minus x cube sin x plus cos x 3 x square. This is the method. So we take one more problem. Better take one more problem. Y is equal to y is equal to 3x square into tan x. 3x square into tan x. If suppose he has given like this 3x square into tan x. So constant if you write outside no problem. Y is equal to I write like this 3 into x square into tan x. It is no problem. It is no problem. So this x square is the what? The first function. Tan x is what? The second function. x square must be the first function. Tan x is the second function. To differentiate. Differentiate with respect to x. So, y with respect to x, everyone know dy by dx. That 3 we write outside. 3 we write better, 2 outside. 3. First function is what? x square. x square into d by dx of what? tan x derivative of tan x plus second function tan x first function is what x square second function is what tan, tan x into d by dx of d by dx of what x square d by dx of what x square so dy by dx 3 we write as it is x square Everyone know derivative of tan x is what the secant square x. Derivative of tan x is what secant square x plus tan x into x to the power n, n into x to the power n minus 1. x square is 2x. If you keep as it is, no problem. Otherwise, if you want to continue, no problem. In these two terms, take x is common 3x into x secant square x <coughs> plus 2 tan x 2 tan x observe this problem I give one constant also here that constant I write outside constant into function rule first rule I applied here keep the constant as it is derivative of the function 
correct derivative of the function say so once again i explain observe carefully first function into first function into derivative of second function observe first function into derivative of second function plus second function into derivative of first function derivative of first function so x square derivative of tan x everyone know secant square x plus tan x into derivative of x square is 2x if you stop here only no problem or else if you want to take x common 3x into x secant square x plus 2 tan x so we take one more problem so one more practice problem y is equal to y is equal to root x secant x root x into secant x here is given like this root x into secant x okay here if you write root x is the first function this is second function okay so one more no need to write this only the first function this is the second function if you want to interchange no problem because 2 into 3 is 6 3 into 2 is also 6 okay if you want to write secant x is the first function no problem root x is the second function no problem okay don't need to write like this only no if you want secant x is the first function root x is the second function no problem okay okay on no need to write like this also for your understanding i write okay no need to write also this one so okay so differentiate differentiate with respect to what x differentiate with respect to x so everyone know y with respect to x is what dy by dx dy by dx so what i do uh, same for what is root x is the first function and secant x is the what second function so root x keep the first function as it is into d by dx of secant x root x into d by dx of secant x plus secant x into d by dx of root x d by dx of root x see first function into derivative of second function plus second function into derivative of first function derivative of first function so root x into derivative of secant x no you know already this one secant x into tan x correct secant x into tan x plus secant x into secant x into derivative of root x but on also you know 1 by to root x 1 by to root x because root x derivative is what 1 by to root x correct one more problem y is equal to x to the power sorry uh, better we take 1 by x 
वन बाई एक्स इंट कॉटेक्स वन मोर प्रॉब्लम वाई इज ईक्वल टू वन बाई एक्स इंटू कॉटेक्स डिफरेंशिएट with with respect to x differentiate with respect to x so y with respect to x dy by dx correct dy by dx so 1 by x first function cortex second function okay if you want cortex is the first function 1 by x is the second function. No problem. So the 1 by x, right as it is, 1 by x into d by dx of cortex. 1 by x into derivative of cortex. Cortex into derivative of 1 by x see observe here once again i explain first function into derivative of second function plus second function into derivative of first function right as it is 1 by x derivative of cortex minus you know this one cosecant square x plus cot x 1 by x derivative and also you know if you don't know I write here observe here uh, d by dx so of we write x to the power minus 1 correct d by dx so of x to the power minus 1 because 1 by x I shift x from denominator to numerator the power become negative minus 1 into x to the power minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 into x to the power minus 2 Minus I shift from numerator to denominator minus one by x square. Remember, this is very important. Derivative of one by x is minus one by x square. If you remember like this, it is very easy to write directly the answer. Otherwise, you write like this. Okay, minus one divided by X square minus one divided by x square. So if you stop here only, no problem. Or else, if you want to solve, what we do? Minus one by x is the common. Both side minus is there. One by x is the common. Cosecant square x plus cot x divided by x. Cortex divided by x. I think now you are clear about the product rule. Once again, I explain product rule, very important uh, concept. So now we discuss only product of two function. For three and four, we will see later. It is in the second PUC. For first PUC, only product of two functions. First function into derivative of second function. Plus second function into derivative of first function. This is the procedure. Okay, I think you clear about rule third. Now we discuss rule four. That means quotient function means division of two function. So now so we see. rule fourth one quotient rule or division of two functions g 
g of x is not equal to 0. Observe, this is also very important, somewhat it is very difficult. Carefully observe the rule first. Division of two function, quotient rule or division of two function, g of f of x, g of x. So, this one numerator, denominator, correct, numerator or denominator, differentiate with respect to x. Everyone know why with respect to x is dy by dx. y with respect to x is how to differentiate for quotient of two function observe here firstly what we do denominator square firstly observe here firstly what i do denominator square denominator square g of x square in the number denominator into g of x into derivative of numerator observe here denominator square got my point denominator square denominator into derivative of numerator write the sign minus write the sign minus numerator into numerator into derivative of denominator numerator into derivative of denominator observe observe carefully once again i say that observe here denominator square see g of x square denominator square next up in the numerator denominator into derivative of numerator you you practice like this only denominator into derivative of numerator minus numerator into derivative of denominator but i want to say i write in the word dy by dx dy by dx denominator that's why I write numerator and denominator. Denominator square. Denominator square. So write the denominator as it is. Write the denominator as it is. Derivative of numerator. Denominator into derivative of numerator minus numerator derivative of denominator numerator into derivative of derivative of what derivative of denominator once again once again, I explained quotient rule. This is the last rule. Y is equal to f of x over g of x. Quotient rule means g of x is not equal to 0. If it is 0, what will happen? So you know it is infinity. Correct? That's why g of x is not equal to 0. Differentiate with respect to means y with respect to x means dy by dx. So denominator square. Sir, we follow like this only? No. If you want to write denominator like this also, very easy to remember is my method. I follow like this. Denominator square. Denominator square. Denominator into derivative of numerator minus. 
numerator into derivative of denominator so i write in the words denominator square denominator into derivative of numerator minus numerator into derivative of denominator numerator into derivative of denominator this is very 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 important denominator square denominator into derivative of numerator minus numerator into derivative of denominator i think better we take one problem one practice problem then you are clear about this rule one practice problem better we have to take so uh, for example y is equal to uh, x cube by sin x like this x cube divided by sin x so numerator is x cube denominator is sin x so first sentence this is must and should differentiate with respect to x differentiate with respect to x everyone know y with respect to x dy by dx dy by dx the first step what we do denominator square denominator square denominator into denominator into derivative of numerator derivative of numerator minus numerator into derivative of denominator got my point observe here denominator square denominator into derivative of numerator minus numerator into derivative of derivative of what denominator okay what we we read the answer sin x whole square means the other same sin square x so write the sin x as it is derivative of x cube 3 into x to the power 3 minus 1 correct n into x to the power n into x to the power n minus 1 minus x cube derivative of sin x cos x sin square x sin x into 3 x square minus x cube into cos x x cube into cos x observe the each and every step very important once again once again i explained this is what this is what denominator question rule what it says according to my okay denominator square denominator into derivative of numerator derivative of numerator minus numerator into derivative of derivative of denominator correct sin x into derivative of x cube n into x to the power n minus 1 minus x cube into derivative of sin x is cos x sin square x sin x into 3x square minus x cube into what cos x clear so we take beta one more practice problem then only you are perfect
वन मोर प्रैक्टिस प्रॉब्लम वाई इज ईक्वल टू फाइव एक्स टू द पावर फोर डिवाइडेड बाय टेन एक्स फाइव इनटू एक्स टू द पावर फोर डिवाइडेड बाय टेन एक्स सो डिफरेंशिएट विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू एक्स सो वाई विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू एक्स डी वाई बाई डी एक्स हियर फाइव एक्स टू द पॉवर फोर इज द न्यूमरेटर टेन एक्स इज द नो नीड टू राइट नो नीड टू राइट ओके सो वट वी डू फर्स्ट डिनोमिनेटर स्क्वेयर denominator square denominator square denominator into d by dx of derivative of numerator 5x to the power 4 denominator into derivative of numerator minus Numerator 5x to the power 4, 5x to the power 4. Numerator into derivative of denominator. Derivative of denominator. Tan x whole square. Tan x into. So here yeah, observe here. constant into function phi into d by dx of what x to the power 4 constant into derivative of the function first rule rule 1 okay this is what i apply rule 1 phi x to the power 4 derivative of tan x is what secant square x if you want write direct here only no problem For practice, I write each steps. Tan square x, tan x whole square, or tan square x, tan x, phi into four, phi into four x cube minus phi x to the power four into secant square x. Phi into four x cube. Observe here. Phi into four means twenty x cube. If you want to write twenty x cube minus phi x secant square x. See, observe here. Denominator square. Denominator into derivative of numerator minus numerator into derivative of denominator. So tan square x, tan x whole square, tan square x, tan x into five x to the power four means four x cube. N into x to the power n minus one minus five x cube. Derivative of tan x is secant square x. So better we take one more practice problem regarding the quotient rule. Quotient y is equal to y is equal to tan x divided by hmm, secant x tan x divided by what secant x like this y is equal to tan x divided by secant x differentiate With respect to x, y with respect to x is dy by dx. Y with respect to x is dy by dx. So the first step, denominator square. 
डिनोमिनेटर स्क्वायर डिनोमिनेटर इनटू डी बाई डी एक्स हो न्यूमरेटर टैन एक्स डी बाई डी एक्स ऑफ टैन एक्स माइनस करेक्ट न्यूमरेटर इनटू डेरिवेटिव ऑफ डेरिवेटिव ऑफ डिनोमिनेटर सीकेंड स्क्वायर एक्स करेक्ट सीकेंड एक्स होल स्क्वायर सीकेंड स्क्वायर एक्स सीकेंड एक्स इनटू डेरिवेटिव ऑफ टैन एक्स इस सीकेंड स्क्वायर एक्स करेक्ट सीकेंड स्क्वायर एक्स माइंस tan x into derivative of secant x is secant x into tan x derivative of secant x is secant x into tan x if you want to you have to simplify that's why i take this problem secant square x secant cube x minus tan square x into secant x tan square x into secant x If you want, you take secant x common. Secant square x minus tan square x divided by secant square x. One term, one term, but it cancel. What left? Secant square x minus tan square x divided by. Secant x divided by secant x. Observe here. This is what I explain once again the rule: Num numerator, denominator. Differentiate with respect to x. Y with respect to x means d over dx. That you know. Denominator square. Observe carefully. Denominator square. Denominator into derivative of numerator minus minus numerator into derivative of denominator this is the quotient rule denominator derivative of tan x is secant square x minus tan x into derivative of secant x is secant x into tan x secant x whole square means secant square x q keep, keep as it is no problem if you want to try to solve okay it's well and good understand this rule one more problem one more practice problem y is equal to root x divided by cosecant x one more simple problem root x divided by cosecant x differentiate with respect to x correct this is mandatory very important differentiate we, we must write differentiate The sentence differentiate with respect to x. Y with respect to x is divided by x. Denominator cosecant x whole square. Denominator square. Denominator square. Denominator into derivative of numerator correct minus numerator into cosecant x correct numerator into derivative of denominator 
cosecant x whole square cosecant square x both are same correct both are same cosecant x you know root x derivative already you know root x derivative is 1 by 2 root x that's why you practice the table very well that is very important minus root x into derivative of cosecant x minus cosecant x cot x minus cosecant x into cot x if you want to keep as it is no problem sir we will simplify yes no problem cosecant square x cosecant x by 2 root x minus into minus plus cosecant x into cot x in the numerator if you want to take cosecant x is common 2 root x plus cosecant square x one term one term what get cancelled observe this problem carefully observe the problem very carefully so once again i explain the rule so better this is numerator denominator so denominator square denominator into derivative of numerator minus numerator into derivative of denominator correct denominator square denominator into derivative of numerator minus numerator into derivative of denominator see observe here denominator square cosecant x whole square is cosecant square x denominator into derivative of numerator root x 1 by 2 root x minus root x into derivative of cosecant x minus cosecant x into cot x if you want to keep as it is no problem keep as it is or else if you want to simplify minus into minus plus take cosecant x common one cosecant x one cosecant get cancer here also if you want to root x take lcm and shift it to denominator no problem okay so this is what the quotient rule okay so better we write all the rule in one table I write all the rule what we discuss in the last two classes sorry this class and last previous classes what we discuss all the rules we write in a table rule one y is equal to k into f of x dy by dx k into d by dx of f of x keep the constant as it is derivative of the function rule 2 y is equal to f of x plus or minus g of x correct rule 2 y is equal to f of x right here y is equal to f of x plus or minus g of x some more difference of two or more functions dy by dx d by dx of f of x if it is plus or if it is minus no problem g of x if it is plus okay write the plus if it is minus write the minus rule 3 
this is constant into function function this uh, rule uh, right here sum or r two functions just i take two functions and this uh, rule product of two functions y is equal to f of x into g of x just now discuss dy by dx f of x into d by dx of g of x derivative of second function plus second function into derivative of first function once again i explain first function into derivative of second function plus second function into derivative of first function rule 4 quotient rule or division of two functions by g of x g of x not equal to 0 dy by dx dy by dx denominator square denominator square denominator into derivative of numerator minus numerator into derivative of denominator once again i explain denominator square denominator square denominator into derivative of numerator minus numerator into derivative of denominator these are all the four rules these rules are very 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 important this is first rule constant into function keep the constant as it is derivative of the function rule 2 sum or difference of two or more functions first function if you write plus or minus then write second function derivative of first function plus or minus derivative of second function product rule product rule f of x into g of x first function into second function dy by dx first function derivative of second function plus plus second function derivative of first function quotient rule f of x over g of x denominator square denominator into derivative of numerator minus numerator into derivative of denominator observe these rules carefully this is very very important rules okay if you know these four rules very well you can solve any type of problems up to this we stop we solve the test two problems in the next class thank you